So Japan is a country of rice fields, and here in the Saga city, uh, in Kyushu, you can see a great expansion of uh, rice fields, and this is one of the used ones, and you know, they have already harvested the rice. And look at the way they carefully lay down the, the stalks there. It's such a beautiful sight. So, you know, uh, of course, uh, farming is a labor intensive work, but what isn't? I mean, everything is labor intensive, isn't it? And if you put a labor lab into the rice fields, you can have this very beautiful layout of the stalks, and which should be an inspiration for artists. But at the same time, this is basic farming. I mean, this is what the Japanese farmers have been doing for hundreds of years, I'm sure. And the speed is still very much alive. And so it's a far cry from the, you know, spiritless automated farming of today, uh, which is uh, uh, usual uh, in many parts of the country. And mind you, Japan has that part of farming too, but um, look at the beauty of this, you know, uh, testimony of the farmers uh, really meticulous care of the farmland and I, I think this should be an inspiration for all of us in terms of the cohabitation of humans with nature. In summer these rice fields would be filled with water so this dynamic irrigation and control of water is central to uh, Japan's really meticulous way uh, the farmers uh, grow rice, which is a very important crop uh, in the culture and history of Japan. And mind you, water is just beside the rice fields, ready to be tapped into. So you have found our rice fields before harvesting. What a beautiful sight. Look at that. I found a really beautiful ancient style farmhouse, uh, Kayabukiyane, which is very rare and really expensive to maintenance these days. <laughs> 